Hi, my name is Subodh Gupta. I am a yoga trainer and this video is about understanding yoga pose headstands, its associated dangers and the precaution one needs to consider while performing this pose. Now this yoga pose headstand is called king of all the yoga poses and the reason is the tremendous benefits it brings for our body and mind. True. However, at the same time, there are associated dangers or I would say that there are health conditions which if they are not taken into account, this pose will be more harmful than giving the benefits. Uh, for example, many yoga school encourage uh, yoga beginners, even participants to try this pose in the first class without checking their medical, uh, you know, medical history or their fitness level. And I would say that it is quite ignorant on their part and dangerous for the participants. In fact, it is quite shocking that yoga legend uh, Mr. BKS Iyengar, uh, and he has highlighted in his book called Light on Yoga, that even yoga beginners can put 100% load on their head and arms and shoulders should only be used for balancing purpose. And I would strongly suggest against this advice of Mr. BKS Iyengar. And there are many reasons. Uh, right now I'm covering two major one. Number one, see if you look at it, our body structure, our spine, even look at the size of our vertebras, they are narrow at the uh, location of our neck and this width is getting, vertebra is getting uh, bigger at the area of our lower back. So in our spine, basically, uh, lower back is uh, designed for taking maximum load and the neck is designed for taking smaller load. Now in the headstand, if you follow the advice of Mr. B. K. S. Iyengar and you put all the load on your head, on your neck, uh, which is designed for smaller load, so all you will get is injury and nothing else. Number two reason. See, Mr. VKS Anger is a yoga trainer and he has been practicing yoga for let's say 40, 50, 60 years, 70 years. Uh, if he basically stand on his head, it's okay. I mean, his fitness level will definitely be different than the fitness level of a normal householder. So one yoga pose, which is okay for Mr. Anger, is not necessarily be the same okay or beneficial for the other person whose fitness level is not same. Now, apart from these two reasons, there are many other uh, health conditions under which it is preferable to avoid this pose. For example, if you are having high blood pressure, uh, headstand should be preferably avoided because in headstand, the pressure of blood uh, increases in the area of your head. So if you're already having a high blood pressure, it will make the situation worse. It will make the situation worse. Uh, number two, I would say in case of monthly cycles, uh, during the time of monthly cycles and pregnancy, it's better to avoid this pose. Uh, if you have very weak eye muscles, or for example, if you have seen floaters in your eyes, it's better to avoid this position. And in case, for example, if you're having neck injury, and in any case, basically, the load will come on your neck, so it's better to avoid this pose. So uh, in summary, I will say that, yes, yoga pose uh, definitely brings a tremendous benefit for the body and mind, but at the same time, uh, one needs to consider the precautions, otherwise it could be more harmful. Anyway, choice is always yours. Thank you very much for watching this video.